effort, perhaps even more unkind to Eubank, but Eubank did seem genu genuinely concerned that Collins had used the hypnotist and therefore would not really be in full control of himself when he went into the ring. That's why I'm afraid. That's why um, I wanted to call the fight off. That's why I would call the fight off if I could now, because I'm going into unknown territory. The 43 fights I've had in the past, I've always known what I was dealing with. I don't know what I'm dealing with tonight. I'm fighting someone who is mechanically uh, orientated, and that is just an unknown area. It's not fair that I should be put into the situation. I don't know of too many top sports people that don't employ, I won't say hypnotists, but certainly man motivators or sports psychologists. This is quite common in today's world. I don't believe it gives an edge. It certainly doesn't give a physical or a technical edge. If it makes people believe in themselves, if they need that type of mental backup, you know, I don't see anything wrong in it. Um, I suppose you could argue that Eubank is probably his own best self-hypnotist, that he motivates himself to such an extent, and that's why he's been involved in so many titanic struggles. From my point, it's no great advantage. I think it just clears the mind, and, and then the, obviously the job has still got to be done. Is there any such thing as hypnotism? Yes, there is. You know, and if I, don't, if I pull out the fight now, then I lose credibility, is what I'm told by my manager, Barry Hahn. I don't want to lose credibility. So tonight I'm going to be switched on, um, and I'm going to be careful, and I'm going to be aware of everything that's happening and what I see in front of me. Um, but uh, if I had my way, I'd walk away from this fight. And that's not being coward, that's being sensible. Well, let's get down to the Steve Collins dressing room. Now talk about dressing the part. The Shamrock tells its own story for St. Patrick's weekend. Collins has had four weeks to prepare in Las Vegas for this one and obviously looks well prepared physically. But what about the mental side? He has refused to say anything to us tonight about the hypnotism. But Dr. Tony Quinn will be in his corner. This is the man who's been doing the work on Collins from the mental point of view. And Gary Norman has been to speak to him. The issue has been raised that sometimes the mind tells the body when to stop uh -huh. and people are worried that he may go on through the pain threshold and it could cause Steve some damage and people yeah, are worried about yeah, that. Yeah. Well, I think in, in something like boxing, the mind plays a big part in it. I mean, a lot of people in situations where they're very excited may actually feel no pain anyway. Many boxers, I don't think, feel pain till afterwards. Now, it's true he will feel less pain than he normally would. I mean, that is definitely true. He'll also find that he's able to move much easier. For instance, one of the things we do is that I've slowed down, so when he sees the punches coming at him, they look about three times slower than normal. And we've done this in the training sessions and it's worked very well. We've also made the target three times bigger. So it's much easier for him to be aware of what's happening. But of course I've told him at the same time, and this is instilled in him, that he will be very aware of all dangers. In fact, he'd be much more aware than normal of any danger that may be to him. Well, it all sounds very simple when put like that. The sons and daughters of Ireland in far-flung corners of the globe turn their thoughts homeward on St. Patrick's Day to the parishes and small towns that are the heart and soul of this country. But in Mill Street, all talk is of the big fight. This is going to be a great fight, and uh, I think Collins is going to win anyway, definitely. I'd prefer Steve Collins was to win, but I don't think he has much chance. We'll have to stay with Steve for the sake of being Irish, but uh, I hope to go the full distance. Talk about excitement. Here's what happened at the weigh-in. Two and a half thousand people greeting the fighters to the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, he got his training at 11 stone something and three quarters of a pound. Ladies and gentlemen, Chris Eubank has scaled 11 stone something and three quarters of a pound, the same as three quarters. Both men are experienced in the big fight atmosphere, and maybe that's just as well if the weigh-in is anything to go by. Right, that was the eve of the fight. A tremendous sense of excitement here, and the big one comes to you. Step five on the Eubank World Tour, live and exclusive tonight from Mill Street in County Cork. A wonderfully welcoming venue, but I wonder how big the welcome will be in the ring for Chris Eubank tonight as he fights almost exactly a local hero, Steve Collins, the Dublin boy, trying to make good in the big time and lift the WBO World Super Middleweight title. And the big fight off in about 12... Ireland. Mill Street is little more than a dot on the map. A village deep in the countryside of County Cork. 
yet it has become a center of excellence for major events, cultural and sporting. And thanks to that, there is full employment here now. It's all down to the dreams of one man, Noel C. Duggan, horse breeder, trainer, and local businessman supreme. The, the town was stagnant and deteriorating, and um, I saw it all happening. And uh, when I got comfortable in my business, I decided in 1973 to run a small horse show in the town park. And we did it well and continued it for the next several years. And by 1979, six or seven years later, we were running our first international horse show. And that was only the start. Much bigger events followed, like the Eurovision Song Contest, and now tonight's big fight. And the locals are here in force, fixing, fetching, doing anything they can to make sure that everybody goes home with a memory of that special Mill Street hospitality. There is a very uh, happy community, a united community, uh, all working together for the common good. And uh, nobody's doing anything for money, but um, uh, everybody gets a kick out of what's happening. And uh, all other towns in the, in the region look up to Mill Street now and consider it to be uh, uh, the, model, the model town. Noel C. Duggan is not finished yet. Next on the list, he has a golf course, he tells us, a hotel, and there's even a plan for an airstrip. No stopping Noel. This town is on to a winner, certainly, in that respect. But is Steve Collins tonight? The first world title fight in these parts. It is a beautiful part of the country. We've certainly enjoyed being here. But will they be cheering a new WBO World Super Middleweight Champion? We'll see you again. The big fight is just minutes away. <laughs>